can be easy steps, phone repair and upgrade. Today I'm going to bring you HTC One M8, which is a new phone. It's a Verizon base, but I'm going to show you how you can unlock two T-Mobile or any other GSM carrier. At this moment, I'm going to make my phone HTC One M8 to unlock from Verizon to make it T-Mobile in order to use it at Metro PCS services. So it's really good for people who wanted this phone with a beautiful phone, want to use it on Metro PCS, and I'm going to show them in easy steps how you can do it yourself. If you can follow me on um, my mouse and you need to google this by saying HTC One M8 XDA Verizon. Before I go to anything else, I wanted to share one thing with you that this most of the software works on PC and but when it comes to easy steps I always have things for you to bring you in easy steps is for PC but I'm gonna bring this one into um, Macintosh on a MacBook for the Mac lovers for the Apple lovers they can do this HTC One M8 to unlock from Verizon to any other carriers on my Mac Air. So I'm gonna show show it to you. Please follow me as I show it to you. You Google it HTC One M8 XDA Verizon. Once you do that, it comes this. Then you open that. Once you open it, you scroll down. You scroll down, you go on Verizon 1 M8 journey. Another form opened, uh, and then you scroll down. You scroll down, you have to go to convert HTC 1 M8 Verizon to fully compatible T Mobile version. But before we do that, we need to do uh, our phone to make it uh, the root in order to do that which is called how to do as of I'm gonna show you I'm going to do it that part then I'm going to bring the rest of the things to you in easy steps and you can follow it hey, here we are uh, to our HTC one M8 I'm going to share with you how we're gonna make this phone unable to us debugging mode and uh, also as for the developer option so I'm going to enable that so we're gonna start that and if we open this okay what we need to do uh, that you need to go on setting I'm gonna click on setting you have to scroll all the way up go on under about and then you need to click on software information can you see it and then you can click on more when you click on more, then it's going to come three things going to come. You need to click on a build number. We're going to click on build like, a, you know, a four, five, six time. It says the two steps away. You know, you're a debugger. Now it says you're now in a developer mode. Go back. One, two, three. And if you notice that now we have a developer option open up. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to say that. You know, developer option, don't ask me again. And I'm going to say OK. And now it says uh, opened up a US debugging mode. And I'm going to click that. And it's going to say allow USB debugging. Yes. OK. So once I'm going to say OK, now we need to get the USB connected to my Mac if you see it. And I'm going to put this in. Since a uh, USB wire is uh, plugged in and uh, my computer already recognized it and now remaining steps I'm going to complete it and I'm going to share with you. To open up uh, the link HTC uh, Sync Manager 
and in order to do that we're gonna open that once it's open it's gonna be uh, about uh, some 200 mag or some file big file is gonna open and it's gonna be DMG files gonna open and it's gonna show it right at the bottom so once it's gonna show and you're going to install that so now we're gonna go on a Google and uh, we're going to install the weak source uh, APK file in order to root our phone so I'm gonna go on to Google so you need to search as I said the weak source it will be weak source 1.01 APK once you do that you're gonna come up this one you're gonna open that can you see it so you open that it's a depend on your speed uh, how internet speed uh, uh, is and then you can scroll these up and as you see the file is right here I can scroll big can you see it now okay this is the file you need so I'm going to click that and that's gonna be starting download and once it's a download okay it's uh, downloaded so I'm going to open that once you open I'm going to press weak sauce and it's gonna say install block I'm gonna say setting okay, so once you're going to scroll and it's gonna say unknown sources that's a file we're gonna say okay we're gonna check that we're gonna say okay now we're gonna go back and now we're going to press that file and now it's gonna tell us that uh, it's a run so we're going to say install it and now it's a weak sauce is installing and uh, I'm just uh, accepting my Google thing and the application is installed I'm gonna say open once it's open that disclaimer I'm gonna say agree okay the root is activated uh, can you see it okay so once the weak sauce is done we need to install a super user in order to take a 30 to root this phone so I'm gonna go on a play store and uh, I'm gonna search uh, uh, super user and once you do super user it's gonna come super user the first one is a free application you're going to ins come that you going to install can you see so once you say install accept it's gonna be installing it it's gonna be pretty fast uh, and depending you know again internet connection and we're gonna open it once you open it this is you gonna say okay once uh, it's a super user is already done and uh, basically and now we're going to restart our phone and uh, I'm gonna shut down I'm going to basically not shut down the restart so we're gonna restart and we're gonna wait and we're going to install number one ADP which is a part of Android SDK so there is a file let's say you download here we're gonna click that once you click it it's gonna come down here we're gonna go down we're gonna say download for other platforms since we're using MacBook and we have to use the total bundle AT bundle so we're gonna use Mac OS 64 bit and if you're 32 bit you use that but uh, I have 64 so I'm gonna use that you have to accept the terms once you do that you're gonna download the bundle then it's gonna start downloading and it's a big file 479 bag it's gonna take uh, some time so I will come back to you bundle uh, ADB is uh, already downloaded the big file like uh, almost 500 mag and uh, now we extracted it I will show you and once you it's extracted ADP bundle Mac and uh, you're gonna go to the folder SDK you open that folder you're gonna go to platform tools you're gonna open that and once you're gonna go open that you're gonna go to ADB and uh, you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna say get info then once you get the info uh, you need to uh, see where and uh, that's the location is of that bundle you're gonna copy that you're gonna highlight then right click you're gonna say copy now you're gonna open up uh, on your search bar terminal window once you open the terminal window you need uh, to put uh, CD 
um, space and you're gonna right click and you're gonna say paste once it's a pasted and you're gonna say hit enter once it's a hit enter you need uh, you already get into that uh, platform tools uh, where we want it to go so we already in that directory now we're gonna go into other directory so you're gonna say period backslash you're gonna say a d b space devices once you're gonna do that you're gonna hit enter and uh, now you see there is no devices attached. Now I'm going to plug my USB to my MacBook. Once I plug that, then I'm going to see. And I'm, uh, is the manager going to open? You just need to close that. Now I'm going to hit enter. And if you uh, hit enter, then you're going to see. HT device is attached before there was nothing it was just showing there was none and now it shows it's there now we're gonna go back to our uh, S of instructions we're gonna go to number 12 and we're gonna download the fire water from here you're gonna click on that you're gonna say open and you're gonna go next tab you're going to scroll down it's a small file you're gonna say download fire water you click it here you click it once it's download it's uh, only four mag file it's a small file it's already done so I already had uh, extracted it and uh, now we're gonna go and find that folder file it's under our download so that's a firewater file we're gonna get a copy firewater we're gonna go back to our bundle uh, folder and um, SDK and then we're gonna go back to platform tools and we're gonna copy right here so you're going to paste that once it's pasted then we're gonna go to the terminal window once you go to terminal window now we're gonna work on number four push prepare and execute firewater so we're gonna use these command and we're gonna copy over adb reboot you're gonna right click copy go back to terminal and we're gonna say dot backslash and we're gonna paste it once you do that it's gonna come to your phone it's a rebooting and the phone while it's rebooting we're gonna get the other commands going we're gonna make a copy and we're gonna go on to terminal and we're going to enter that and we're gonna say click OK and once we're gonna do that um, while uh, that uh, window popped up the reason because it was a restarting mode and uh, so that one uh, don't worry about that and uh, once it's uh, done you make sure that the file is uh, this big uh, for uh, 0.5 uh, mag file if it's a uh, smaller that means you don't have a correct uh, copy downloaded so you have to make sure that so now you're gonna go back into the next uh, command you're gonna copy that you're gonna go back to terminal again and same thing period backslash you're gonna paste it you're gonna copy over this then you're gonna see the shell it's already transfer and don't worry about that manager thing opens up you can close that then you're gonna go to the next command super user command you're gonna enter that remaining uh, file uh, the commands after super users we're going to add that and uh, let's do that and um, I'm gonna show you while we're doing that I'm just gonna share with you that if you say super user not found uh, that could be a, your wire loose my wire was loose that caused a, I think a problem you do it the second time I did it and it started working so we're gonna do that uh, copy so um, once we copy we're gonna hit enter and uh, then we're gonna get the last command once we're gonna get to the last command copy and we're gonna paste that we're gonna hit enter and that's looks like it's going it's a saying it's a done fine do you understand the implication of these warning you say yes so you make sure you type yes no why okay so once you say yes then we are back to our phone and then I'm gonna share with you uh, you know another screen and then it's kept preparing one mo uh, moment the first uh, bottle is open chugging Okay, so after opening a bottle 6, chugging, the device is now as off, don't forget. Okay, uh, don't worry about that, uh, now the phone, go, we're going to go to the, our phone, it's going to say on our phone and I'm going to share with you.
done with all those commands the number six bottles we're gonna open up uh, the close that terminal open another terminal we're gonna use the same command and uh, we're going to enter that once you enter that then you're gonna come to the second command then you're gonna say reboot um, uh, hyphen bootloader you're gonna hit enter once you do that then your phone will start and it will open up with a soft and now I'm going to share it with you on my phone uh, from our MacBook uh, once it's all done bootloader now is showing that uh, it's a uh, soft uh, is uh, unlocked fully it's uh, the um, HTC one M8 is fully rooted and I'm going to share with you my part two in order to how to convert to GSM so please uh, watch that and now you see as uh, everything is clearly uh, done thank you for uh, watching easy steps